Bonjour everybody and thank you for having me back. So today I am taking you through the illustration of Gigo! Gigo! Here is Gigo! If you follow us on the Can Hill CC, you will certainly know who Giggle is and you have probably seen him grow up as well and seen how a little star he has become. So I am very proud of him. For those who don't know, Giggle is my little goose and he was hatched by a duck, the mum the duck mum was actually not interested, so I, I raised him, we took care of him. So now, the amazing thing is Giggle is very much imprinted on me and Chris. He's such a character, he's brilliant. And of course he is a big inspiration for me as an artist, so let's get started. So when I decide to do any kind of artwork, I always start with a sketch so you can see what you want to do and where you want to go with it and if there is any changes that you want to make it is at this point that you can do it. The sketch is the foundation of your project. So for my illustration I use, once I've done the sketch I use tracing paper I use a rod ring uh, which is 0.18. You can have like a panel of different thickness as well, but I really like that one. And also what you use on tracing paper is, you've got to be careful with this, but a razor blade. So what you do is when you scratch the paper, it just removes a little bit of the surface where the ink has been put on once it's dry then you use this as an eraser. So I have a razor blade just in case I need to do a few corrections. I start tracing, um, still creating though. I decide that some line will be light or I can also decide to have them thicker. This will give a bit more energy to the drawing. And once I am happy with it, I start with the shadows. So for the shadows and the color, the pen that I use are these Pro Markers from Windsor & Newton. I've got three different shades. So I've got a very, very dark black and I've got a dark gray and a lighter gray. So I use this pen and I use the same face of the tracing paper that I did the drawing in rotring with. For the colors, I turn the tracing paper over so it prevents mixing with the ink and the shadows that I've already done. For the colors, I use a mix of uh, blues and this light brown as well. These two are fairly complementary, so that works well. And I use different shades of oranges. I love that blue here, denim blue. This one there, that's very nice. About three different oranges, and that's for the beak and feet. I do like putting a few of my splashes bits as well. I think it gives a little bit more energy and fun to the artwork. And there you have it. Hello, Gigo. 
So this illustration is now on my merchandise on my shop. So actually I received an email this morning and I've got a t-shirt that has been printed and sent to me. So I'm looking forward to it. Uh, I am also expecting a giggle mug. Mugs such as this one. Have a coffee with a giggle. I'm going to be giggling around. Giggle, 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 giggle. Now, I have been working on a special Christmas edition. Um, I worked the same way for these uh, as you have seen with the Giggle illustration at the bottom here. So we have Giggle, Coco and Eli, Violet and Bumblebee, of course. So I have created a set of mugs especially for Christmas and they are soon to become also Christmas greeting cards but they are available on my website where there is a link to my shop so you can go there I will put a link below in the description box they're really putting me in the festive mood which is really nice so I hope you enjoy the giggle and by the way my calendar is now available as well so there is a link on my website so feel free to go and have a look. This is all about the baby animals and there are illustrations as well. I made them the same way as I did giggle here. It is just lovely. This is all our baby animals and everybody knows we had so many this year and it's just going to make you smile for the whole year. 2021. So yes, the festive season is approaching and very very fast. So I hope this puts you in the mood a little bit. Thank you very much for watching and I will see you on my next video. Have a lovely day.